social media has changed the discourse of not only how we communicate with each other, but it's changed our political climate as well. And with each passing year, experts who study social media and its effects say that we should pay more attention to how our leaders are using these platforms. Robin Oguinea joining us live now in the studio with more on the story. Robin. Tom, Aaron, what does that have to do with us here in Northeast Wisconsin? Well, according to a Stanford University researcher visiting our area, it has everything to do with anyone who uses social media on a daily basis. She spoke tonight at Lawrence University on how Twitter is reshaping the political landscape. Within an auditorium mostly filled with students, there's no doubt there's a Twitter user or two among them. Megan Metzger says Twitter, in particular, has become inundated with news, especially political news. And despite what we think, we're influenced by what we read. We also all are influenced by politics, even if we're not people who care a lot about politics, even if, you know, that's not part of our day-to-day -day lives. Um, what happens in politics impacts us. And so when things are changing how that happens, I think that ordinary people should care about it. Thursday, one of two former Twitter employees landed behind bars, accused of espionage. The FBI says they leaked private data to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Saudi royal family. One example of how the media platform is used to communicate with political leaders, legal or not. We've seen states, not only in this country, but around the world, trying to um, affect the information that people get in other, in other countries. We also have seen politicians using uh, social media in new and important ways. So we are also getting the way we communicate and understand the politicians that we vote for, that represent us. That also is sometimes happening on social media. She uses President Trump as an example, someone who has not shied away from being candid on the site. In one sense, it makes him more accessible. I think people feel that they can um, get a more casual type of communication from him, and I think that people like that. In the end, Metzger says online media is something to keep an eye on. Its users can determine positive outcomes for the world we live in. What do we want the rules to be, and how are we going to balance that with ensuring that we protect our rights to free expression and, and all of those things that are really central to the United States and to human rights globally? If you want to learn more about what Metzger studies, look for this story on our website, wearegreenbay.com, and follow the link there. In the studio, Robin Oguinye, Local 5 News.